Okay, in today's Big Eye, we're looking at a device that scientists are hoping will save millions of lives. Detecting melanoma, melanoma, the most lethal form of skin cancer, relies on nothing more than the human eye. Now, dermatologists eyeballing moles and making the difficult decision on which ones warrant a biopsy. And you know that's complicated to do. But look at this new tool developed at the British Columbia Cancer Agency with Verisant Technology Incorporated. Well, that could change all of this. Using the Verisant Aura, doctors may soon be able to catch melanoma by shining a ray of light over it. To tell us more about this is Thomas Braun. He's the CEO of Verisant Technology, uh, joining us from Vancouver. Uh, Thomas, thanks very much for this. Uh, first of all, for people who aren't familiar with how you determine melanoma, generally speaking, uh, it's determined because something has shown up and you're, you're not used to it being there. And often it's missed because people uh, may have other marks or moles or hair on their body and weren't able to detect the mole. Uh, so generally speaking, you got to figure it out. You got to take that biopsy. Uh, you got to test it and then find out that there's cancer. This jumps, uh, skips a few of those steps. Absolutely. With this device, we're scanning 21 biomarkers in about half a second, and we can see things that the human eye can't see. What's the uh, accuracy of this? I know you've done some testing on it. The preliminary results were published in 2008 on the first 274 lesions scanned and biopsied. And out of 34 melanomas, the device detected all 34. Wow, so that it was 100% of those that, that were biopsied that were, were cancerous. Correct. Based on the preliminary results, their device was 100% accurate for melanoma. Okay, where wh is this approved for use yet, or is it going to be approved? We expect to be approved later this year in Canada and Europe and in 2013 in the United States. All right, what's the effect of this going to be? I assume it costs something. What does that uh, unit cost? Who's likely to buy it? And what, what's the ultimate effect? I, I assume anybody who can afford it, any hospital or clinic or cancer center that can afford it or dermatologist uh, would like to buy one of those because, uh, because it's going to save lives and save, save money. Absolutely. It's going to save lives and it's going to save money. We're aiming for a cost of about $30,000 uh, for the doctors. And to start with, we think that dermatologists will be the people who buy it. Okay, we, we hear about false positives a lot. Is there a danger that this device might miss a mole that turns out to have melanoma? There's always that chance. And as you collect more data, there, we may eventually miss a melanoma. There's also human error that's involved, the device has to be used correctly. But right now, based on just a visual exam, doctors have a sensitivity or an accuracy of anywhere between 16 and 69%, depending on whether they're a GP or a board certified dermatologist. So even if we're not 100%, if you're close to 100%, you're still improving the sure. situation dramatically. Thomas, and good to talk to you. Save lives. This is great, uh, great technology. We'll follow Thank its, uh, its uh, commercialization with interest. Thomas Braun is the chief executive officer of Verisant Technology. You want to learn more about this technology, or if you want to pitch us a big eye that you think should be covered, go right to my